Lego has given me the title really unique customer because I buy hundreds of thousands of Lego every month. I used to practice corporate law in New York City. Mergers, acquisitions, real exciting stuff. I would come home after a long day at the law firm and I would need some sort of outlet. I would draw, I would paint, and sometimes I would sculpt. It was just one day I thought about this toy from my childhood, Lego bricks. Could I sculpt large scale sculptures using this toy? And so I started experimenting and I, I just dug out all the old bricks I had from when I was a kid and just tried to replicate things I saw in my apartment. And I put together a website, which became really my, my virtual gallery. People started contacting me and saying, hey, can you build me this? Can you build me that? Actually, when my website crashed from too many hits that I realized, ah, there's something to this. I decided to make that change and I left the law firm behind to play with bricks full time. The reaction from friends and family was interesting. There was some people who were a little negative about it and thought I was crazy. I didn't know how long it would last. I thought, maybe I'll be able to pay rent next month, but I don't know if I'll have a job after that. During those down times, when I didn't have something, didn't have a commission, that's when I would create art for myself. And that's really what the Art of the Brick became, this exhibition of art that I created on my own that now tours the globe. The time it takes to create a sculpture really depends on the size and complexity of the piece. So uh, a life-size human form can take up to two to three weeks. Something smaller could be done maybe in a few days or a day. Um, the longest I've ever worked on something is about three months for a sculpture of a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton that was about 20 feet long. Um, recently, I spent uh, two months working on a Batmobile. The bricks I use in my art are the very same bricks that people could purchase at a toy store. I don't paint them, I don't have access to special colors or special shapes and sizes. And we're in my art studio today where I have over five million Lego bricks. When you look at my sculptures up close, you see all those sharp corners and, and right angles, and then you back away from it, and all those corners, they blend into curves. And that's kind of the magic of using Lego bricks. You know, you don't have to find one career path. There are many ways to get to where you want to go. Even if you don't know where that is right now, you can always change what you are. To see how pro snowboarder Mike Bassage chases storms in his mobile tiny home, watch this next video. The view always changes, which has been really fun. You just pull up the side of the road, all of a sudden you have lakefront property in a national forest. Next one, you're on a little creek or out in the desert. The, the landscape's just amazing. It's like having real estate that's priceless. Everybody misses home at some level. You never get homesick with this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Secret Stories so you can see new videos every week.